Hey everybody, it's David and Richard with Advance One McKeever Real Estate. We are brokers and this is your Ask the Brokers show. And on today's show, we're talking about some negotiation here. Uh, the market here in November of 2021, we're starting to see a little bit of shifting and that could be a shift in the market or it could be a little bit of the winter months starting to take place, but we are seeing some sorts of changes happening in the marketplace. And that means uh, more negotiation for both sides potentially. So Richard, what do you have on that negotiation topic? Well, you're right, the market's changing just a little bit. Yep. So maybe now the buyer does have a little bit of negotiating in them where six months ago they had to give away everything. Mm -hmm. So remember, negotiating is two people, not just one. Lots of times the buyer's agent or the seller's agent just tries to get everything from the other agent. Well, that's mm -hmm. not, probably won't get you to the finish line. Mm -hmm. Both sides willing to give a little bit will, you know, we just, uh, David just helped one of our agents put together a offer that was $20,000 off. Tell me a little bit about that, David. Yeah, this happened to be a specific example. They got into escrow, they did the inspections, and they found significant repairs were needed for the house, uh -huh. and um, the buyer wanted a significant price reduction okay. um, to, sense. to cover the repairs. And the seller was willing to come down halfway. The buyer didn't want to go up halfway, so there's still some separation there. Um, I coached the agent to basically say to the other agent, hey, I've done all my can to, I'm trying to get her to come up to a certain point. We really want to make this happen. Um, so in saying that, she, she didn't, she wasn't really firm about it. Like, no, this is all we're doing. It was, hey, we really want to make this happen. We really want to keep this together. Well, I want to work with you. We want to make this happen. But I just, I've tried and this is all they can do. So it's a way of presenting your, your offer in a sense and what you're willing to do, how firm you are versus, you know, the approach in, on that. So ultimately the seller did come down to their, to, to their price point and they kept the deal together and are, have closed it now. So it's all about how you sometimes um, leave your ego out of it. You know, you got to remember that as an agent, we're representing the buyer and seller. Don't get offended by what they want to do and, and how you come back at the other agent. You know, you got to right. leave your ego out of the transaction sometimes. Yeah, your opinion is not what counts here. It's the mm -hmm. buyer's and the seller's opinion. So 20000 off, they did inspections to find this stuff wrong. Mm -hmm. If they wouldn't have found stuff wrong, they probably would have paid the 20000 Yeah. But they found so much wrong that now, and that probably pointed out to the seller who was kind of stubborn on price to begin with, that, yeah. well, I do have a lot of problems. If you walk away, I'm probably gonna have to fix this anyway, so let's just make this work. So good negotiation, put together a deal is $20,000 off, where bad negotiating would have had seller with no sale and the buyer out looking next weekend. Yeah, and I think as the market shifts more back into normal to not favoring buyer and seller, we're going to see more and more of this. Now we're not quite there yet. It's still a seller's market here in November of 2021. Um, but we are seeing a little bit more leeway, you know, with the days on market slowly ticking up and that sort of thing. I yep. think this, some sellers could be a little bit more flexible on some things. So that's good news for buyers. Yep. Buyers, it's coming your way. So remember when negotiating, it's both sides have mm -hmm. to be willing to negotiate to put the deal together. Yep. Well, guys, thanks so much for watching our Ask the Broker show for uh, this Friday. It comes out each and every Friday. Uh, so we'll see you then. Thanks a bunch.